although we have tangent, sine, and cosine, and we have learned the relationship between tangent, sine, and cosine, but actually, if we are given one of the trigonometry ratio, we are able to find out the other two ratios using Pythagoras theorem. Given cos theta is 3 over 5, find sine theta. Now, cosine ka is adjacent over hypotenuse. Given cosine theta is 3 over 5, we can actually draw a triangle like this, where the adjacent of theta is 3, and hypotenuse of theta is 5. We want to find sine theta. Sine, so, is opposite over hypotenuse. We can see from the diagram that opposite is AB, while hypotenuse is 5. We do not note AB, but we can find AB using Pythagoras theorem. AB square is 5 square minus 3 square. So AB is square root of 25 minus 9. And AB is 4. We substitute that value into the equation. And we get sine theta is 4 over 5. If tangent theta is square root 209 over 4, find the value of sine theta. Now, tangent toa is opposite over adjacent. Given that tangent theta is square root 209 over 4, we can actually draw a triangle like this, where the opposite of theta is square root 209 and adjacent of theta is 4. We want to find sine theta. Sine, so, is opposite over hypotenuse. We can see from the diagram that opposite is square root 209, while hypotenuse is AB. We do not know AB, but we can find AB using Pythagoras theorem. AB square is square root 209 square plus 4 square. So AB square is 209 plus 16. And AB is square root 225. AB is 15. We substitute that value into the equation, and we get sine theta is square root 209 over 15.